Welcome to Jumanism Total Notary Channel. This is the Vivo Barvot Ra 2. After three months of constant use. And well, or more or less constant use. Um, and well, um, they are not the worst shoes ever, but I do have a lot of complaints. Um, so, let's begin with it. Now, this is some kind of interesting, you know, um, matte leather surface or they were when they were new at least I think I'll put some shoe shine on and see if it gets better I brushed the shoes up properly before I went out and now I'm home again and you can see that they are all dusty I kept them this way because I wanted to show you that these shoes become dusty very easy and now how about the fit of the shoe well, they are still kind of comfortable as I did in the uh, earlier unboxing video and comparison with, with the Vivo Barefoot Ra 1. But I still hold to that the Vivo Barefoot uh, Ra 1 does feel like a better quality shoe. This feels like a lower quality shoe and I don't really feel that you get the quality of shoe you should get for the premium price you pay. Um, and that is because, let us see here, you can see we have some threads just after a few months of use we have these um, it, it's, I, I, I don't think it's the seal thread, it's kind of the uh, kind of fabric inside the shoe here that kind of has um, had some wear and tear but you can see this, it's like why? shouldn't happen. This didn't happen at all with the Vivo Barefoot Run 1. They had actually like folded um, the edges in another way so that it's much more durable which this shoe unfortunately is not. Um, and then we have the fit of the shoe. Like the fit is still nice as I said but it's kind of a little loose in the edges here so you will more easily get the uh, gravel and sand and stuff inside the shoe. It's quite annoying. I had to stop a couple of times yesterday uh, when I was walking outside and just pour out some stuff from the shoes. Not very comfortable. And now here's the other thing. It feels a little bit weird when you walk. Like there is... The fit is a little bit weird if you don't tie the shoe. Now you know, sometimes, you know, especially when we're barefoot shoes, I don't even tie them. I kind of have this uh, very thin shoe lace uh, very thinly, and then I just put my shoe in here. But if you do that, it feels a little bit weird, at least for me, when I'm working. But, just a little bit weird, not like super weird. It's like, it feels like uh, the uh, leather is kind of doing like this when I walk, which kind of touches the inside of my of my feet, which, you know, it's a, not it's a noticeable touch, like something touches my feet, which is interesting. It feels, it feels like this, like someone is tapping a little bit there each time I walk. Um, now, they do perfectly fit well with uh, with uh, toe socks as I use. So that's one nice thing, but the fit is a little bit weird. But the thing is that it gets better. If you tie the shoes properly, they feel much nicer to walk with. But, now I actually kept this exactly as it is. You see this? Yeah, this is how far the inner sole wandered up when I was walking yesterday. This actually wandered up like this. So when I when I tie the shoes, it just kind of creeps. It kind of creeps up like this very slowly. It's super annoying. Uh, so, but if you don't tie the shoe, it feels a little bit special to walk. So it's like, mm, that's a little bit annoying. So I'm I'm I need to think. You know, um, either. I'll take this and glue them inside, but then you can see it kind of collects a lot, a lot of dirt and stuff. It's kind of weird. Uh, so either I glue it inside or I just don't use them. Last time I tried, it wasn't very comfortable walking without them because the inside of the shoe 
is not completely smooth in the edges like you, you can see some glue here or know how healthy that is I feel that this is not something that should be present on a uh, premium shoe like this like the glue all over especially not if you are also supposed to use these without the inner soles and they're called natural I don't know I think it looks like plastic with a little piece very thin piece of uh, cork on top of it but I'm pretty sure this will tear through after a while I don't know um, but it's definitely a shoe that starts to look a little bit used pretty quickly you can see these kind of kind of folds here oh lord we can even see like the uh, I don't know if you can see this but the the rubber has a small little gap there between the leather I hope it will not like loosen itself completely but that's a tear I didn't see before let's see if it well it stays in place but it looks a little worrying of course I don't know I don't know if that is something to care about now the shoelaces are complete shit um, they're very thin and it's only in the upper holes here we actually have some metal backing this up otherwise it's just a hole through leather I don't feel that's very very good I might even put some proper uh, rings in here um, if we got some at home I might put some proper rings in here um, and uh, I'll change this shoelaces probably to an elastic pair and see if the wandering inner sole is kind of gone or um, yeah if it feels more comfortable walking as at the same time as the inner sole stays in place we'll see and of course it's the same with this shoe you can see this this wasn't as bad it just kind of wandered up a um, two centimeters three centimeters but it's still so you can feel like the edge you can feel this edge here with your toes so it's still not acceptable of course yeah um, but well on the positive side um, the the soles of the shoe just accept this little part is still holding together very nicely we have a nice pattern um, sometimes it's a little bit slippy if you walk on wet rocks um, as you do but uh, usually you have a perfectly well grip and it seems like the rubber is a decent quality so it hasn't torn away uh, super much at least uh, they are very comfortable when they are comfortable and you can feel the ground perfectly so that's you know exactly what I want even with the inner soles you can feel what you're walking on so that's pretty neat um, but I really feel I need to somehow see if I can fix the problem with the inner sole wandering up with using another shoelace if they are comfortable walking without these then like if they are comfortable walking without the inner soles for you uh, it's probably fine because if you tie the shoe and you know don't have the inner sole it should be fine nothing can wander up but yeah I'm kind of surprised these shoelaces are still intact though but like the the holes for the shoelaces I feel it's a, it feels a little bit cheap it's just holes there I don't know why it's like you're not supposed to tie them or something uh, because otherwise I think it might be you know the holes will get larger over time uh, since it's leather and it's kind of elastic uh, and well on the leather itself um, I don't have any complaints on the leather itself the leather itself seems like decent quality leather um, I think but yeah I think it's also the nature of the shoe that we have kind of these um, folds here it might be a little bit hard to get around but time will tell if it will tear on the leather eventually or if it will uh, tear up the connections here with the, with the glued uh, if, if it will tear up the glue to the rubber sole I don't know but anyways uh, it's a little bit annoying to walk around with these shoes um, I know there are different editions of the Vivo Barfoot Rat 2 I don't know which edition this is but it was supposed to be matte 
mate uh, black kind of so I don't know so I would say you don't really get exactly what you pay for so if you buy them be sure to buy them cheaply uh, or on some sale um, but I mean they are okay shoes and I mean they are okay they're not good the problem is there is not much competition so I would be very happy to try another brand of similar looking shoes in the future but uh, I haven't seen that yet um, but yeah We'll see how the next edition is. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Jimmy Total Nourish channel, signing out.